right, all right. Everyone all good, yeah? yeah. yeah. First things first, who has been to Las Vegas? Woo! So you guys will all know what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Especially when you overspend and tell the bank you've been done by fraud. <laughs> Spending $500 on two bottles and a stripper? Come on, Barclays, you know that wasn't me. <laughs> And talking about money, in Canary Wharf in London, there's a homeless guy that does not accept donations from Africans. He said he's seen the Oxfam adverts, and we need the money more than him. <laughs> he's real woke, man, he's real woke. So now, whenever I see this guy, and I see him jiggling his cup, if I've got a drink in my hand too, I'll knock his cup and say, cheers. <laughs> it's all about spreading positivity, man. But the thing I've got about homelessness and the thing I find ironic is that when you're homeless, you can choose where you live. So whenever I walk through Tottenham and I see a homeless guy, I'm like, you don't have to do this, my guy. <laughs> Chelsea's out there for you. <laughs> like, personally, I'd rather be homeless in Chelsea than have a house in Tottenham. <laughs> I find myself giving money more to buskers now and tell me people, is it rude? Is it rude to get change from a busker? <laughs> yeah, hear me out, because I was at that Great Ormond Street Hospital and there was a guy singing Michael Jackson tunes, which I thought was a little bit insensitive. <laughs> and it, I wasn't singing it. <laughs> and then I pull out a tenner from my pocket and as soon as he saw it, his eyes lit up which told me he knew he wasn't worth the 10 pounds. It's probably worth two pound at best. So I put the 10 pound in his pot and start getting my change out. <laughs> and then he got all offended. Was I in the wrong there? Honorable, was I in the wrong? Good, because I took pound nine pound nine, it kept it moving, man. <laughs> my mum does that church all the time, man. <laughs> But I just want to shout out my mum real quick. My mum passed her driving test last week. I have a bit of love for my mum right now. Yeah. Appreciate that. I have to let her know you guys did that for her. But it's funny, though, when I think about it. It's funny, though, because she drove me to school for 15 years. <laughs> school was real important, man. It was real important. And talking about driving, my car recently needed repairs now. And now all the cars they could have given me as a courtesy, an eligible bachelor like myself, they gave me a flipping this and cash guy. You guys seen one of those? Yeah. It's a big ass four bar four, man. I Michael, look, you're not gonna pick up no girls in a goddamn cash guy. But I went to the club and I picked up two girls. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm a sexy motherfucker. <laughs> but he just thought I was their Uber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so flipping embarrassed, I just dropped them home anyway. Because <laughs> that's the thing with a cash guy, it's such a family car. So much so, when I picked up from the dealership, it came with two baby seats. <laughs> and there were two babies in the seats. <laughs> and obviously, because they're Nissan, these babies were Japanese. <laughs> and I don't know if you clocked, but there's nothing Japanese about this face, so I panicked, man. Because <laughs> who's gonna believe these kids were mine? That's how I was panicking, man. That's how I was panicking. <laughs> but who's going to believe these kids were mine? So I did what any reasonable adult would do. I left these kids on the doorstep <laughs> of my local Wagamamas. <laughs> talking about mamas, though, talking about mamas, you guys know when your mom calls you by your first name followed by your surname, you guys know you're in trouble, right? But for me, it's a little bit special because I'm Nigerian, so I have several names. To put that in perspective for you all, Michael's not even my real name. It's not, it's just an acronym for all the other names. <laughs> so all I hear the other day, all I hear is Motupe, Aiken, Achibodzo, Henry, Abimbola, Ezekiel, Lamre, Akadiri, come here now. Come here right now. So I'm all shook, I'm worried, I'm thinking, did she find out it was me that smoked her weed? <laughs> I don't know, so I walk into the living room now and I see her there. And all she says to me, all she says is, 10 on the TV. <laughs> I'm thinking, is that it? All seven names for the flipping TV? The irony is she needed one name to turn that TV on, one name. 
And that name is Alexa. <laughs> talking about names, though, talking about names, I usually change my name when I apply for jobs because a Nigerian name can be a red flag for some recruiters. Like, I got rejected from one job when an interviewer accused me of sending romantic emails. Then romance scam emails to his nan. <laughs> And I was like, look, your nan is not my type, bruv. <laughs> but your daughter is, though. Because <laughs> I like to fight hate with love. And that's why it's on my bucket list. It's on my bucket list to sleep with a racist man's daughter. <laughs> Put a baby in her. <laughs> Call that baby Muhammad Ali Wakba. <laughs> I could be like Nick Griffin. <laughs> We're family now, boy. <laughs> See you at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> my brother is born Nigerian, and my uncle recently moved from Nigeria to the UK. And soon after landing, I'm talking on the train home from Heathrow. He gets caught on the train using a child's ticket. I said, uncle, straight up, you know that's fraud. And he goes, shut up, I'm a child of God. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even find him, they just deported him straight, man. <laughs> <laughs> he went back on the same plane he came on, man. <laughs> but talking about God, do you have any Christians in the room tonight? Yeah. A few, this is proof sent to me, this is proof sent to me. Christianity is just not popular anymore. It's just not. Veganism's taken over, man. <laughs> I'm scared of that shit, man. But I'm a Christian. I can tell you one of the most difficult things about being a Christian, one of the most challenging things, is receiving a knock on the door from a Jehovah's Witness. Because <laughs> I love God, I do. But I don't want to hear about God on a Saturday morning. <laughs> I can't be hearing about God's glory when i still got my morning glory. <laughs> so it's two Saturdays go stiffy and I open the door. And I see these two Jehovah's Witnesses there. And I looked them dead set in the eyes, without flinching. I told them, nobody's at home. <laughs> Unless you're looking for stiff air. <laughs> I'm not gonna, you got real cool, man, appreciate it. 